hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is ashley if you're new to my channel don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and in today's video i'll be discussing how you can pass cxc math specifically csec mathematics so if you want to see that if you want to hear that just continue watching and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe okay so let's just get right into it right now so CXC, aka CSEC math is one of the harder, it's one of the hardest um, CSEC subjects for students to do and it is also one of those subjects that has a high failure rate. I think, um, was it like 40 something like some 49% only like less than basically less than 50% of students pass math I think for 2021 less than 50% like a 49% pass math so basically math is a subject that is very hard and many students fail so how can you pass math now first up I'll say this first up do not underestimate mathematics don't underestimate the exam itself because this is sometimes the work that teachers give you in the class is usually simpler and it's usually easier than what they put on the exam or the way that they structure the questions on the exam you might know how to work it you know but when the, the way all the question look or the way this question is structured you don't you're not sure what to do with the question you might know how to do it but the question asks you something but they don't understand it so just don't underestimate CSEC math because a lot of students do fail math every year but now let's get directly into the reason so when I did CSEC math like I did last I did last year mm -hmm. and when I went into that math exam so the first one was up was paper 2 I think I think that I underestimated math i think i underestimated it so just don't make that mistake don't make that mistake when i say i underestimated i don't mean like i didn't practice or like prepare but I didn't. to describe the paper too how thick that that's the only word i can use like describe that now i'd say it's thick the paper was just thick there were a lot of papers it's like think like maybe 30 pages in that math booklet like out of all the exams that I've been doing, like as I did a couple exams of formats and I may tell you. When the lady put down that paper to in front of me and the feel it miss it, like just the weight when she have the paper in her hand, like she lift it up and she put it down. The weight that the paper had. So me I say, why paper looks so heavy? Remember I know we can't open the booklet yet, but me I say, why the paper so heavy? Why it looks so heavy? And when they said begin and I started opening that booklet and skipping and skipping and skipping page, come like the page I'm can't do now. It is like the pages can't finish. Like I think it's like 30 pages my count and each page working out on all of those pages. And I think is it two hours and forty minutes? Don't quote me on that, but it's something like that for the math exam. So, something like that but the way I see it I don't think the time that whatever the time is for maths I don't think they give you enough time for that paper too to be honest that was one exam that was exam really mashed it mashed me up it mashed me up bad 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 man like <laughs> when I went to that exam now and they give me the math paper two booklet and I started skipping and skipping and skipping and it just seems like it can't end like why so many pages in this math booklet like so much math oh, and I kind of started like panic because I feel really overwhelmed with the amount of questions that they have on this paper for me to work out in what two hours and 40 minutes like I was overwhelmed and I started like panicking a little bit and I panicked a little bit for true so I say this is a lot this is a lot 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 so anyway I calmed down and we just start to work I worked out the first couple questions on the paper and, and 
obviously my book up on question that I never really know for record or it, maybe it's the way the question was structured I did not know exactly what to do with it so what I did I did what I could so I just skip on the page if I know the maths I work it if I don't know I just skip and I just continue because time was very limited like when I was in that exam I could tell that I was not the only one who was flustered they're flustered you're tired you feel frustrated you're panicking like hey I was sweating my heart my heart <laughs> hey, my heart was beating so fast I was sweating I was anxious like I was just everything like, I was just I was just gone at that point but I worked what I could you know when I came out of the exam and I spoke with some other like some of them were my classmates some of them just schoolmates they said that they did not finish the paper but that is the problem that I think with the math exam how many students actually get to finish the paper I did not finish that paper you know let me make that clear from now I did not finish it I got a grade 2 in mathematics I did not finish the paper but I worked whatever I could on the paper some of them I just wrote something like I tried my best not to leave anything blank although I couldn't work it but I tried my best not to leave anything blank but maybe there was a one page that was blank or something like that but remember no I said something like it's about like 30 pages so just know that going into that exam that the time is very limited so don't go into the exam don't stare into space don't just don't do that because when I was in the exam it was just so depressing the math exam the room itself was just so depressing because when I look forward it is like everybody some students have their heads on their desk like 30 minutes in the exam some had their heads on their desk some were looking in the ceiling they were just like you can tell that everybody does <laughs> I, I don't even know but I was not the one who was panicking don't underestimate the mathematics paper too Went into that exam, go with a plan. Just go in there and start working the questions as quickly as possible. Do not waste time steering to space. Do not leave anything blank. Just write something. Try to work out the question. Even if you're not sure that that is what the question is asking, just work out something. Just write something there. You never know if you get a one mark. Just write. Because that in that exam, the time is very limited. And I think that to be honest, when I left that exam room, I thought it was very unfair. Like, I thought it was very unfair that if this was what, if this was the exam that students in the previous years had to do, they had to do these questions in this limited amount of time. I think it's unfair. It, it just does not allow any room for... It, the math exam, I think it's just exact. Like the time that they give is like exact they don't even give you a 10 minutes at like the time required to work the questions is like exactly they don't even give you like a 10 minutes or 20 minutes like grace period then that you can look over you know if you don't know something even five minutes you can take like they give you the exact time to work the questions that's the way i see it and when the time was up exam room and i my heart, my heart, like, <laughs> when I got up from that math exam, I was weak, I was just weak, I was weak, I was weak, because that math exam really took a toll on me, like, seriously, took a real toll on me. I worked what I could, but I was like, I'm not even sure. The paper was just so much more than I expected, like, I had looked at past papers before it, I looked at past papers, but... When you actually sit down with the paper and after you work it all by yourself, it's a whole different thing. Because what I would do, I'd watch teachers on YouTube like work the questions. That was one of the ways that I prepared. So I watched them work them. But in the exam, I was the one working all of those questions. It was just really hard. Like I had practiced, but I did not do like the amount of questions. I did not do so much questions at any one point in time. So I was stressed out in that exam. I was just tired. So going into that math exam, do not underestimate the paper too. Go in there, work swiftly. In fact, before the exam, print 
see if I can get like maybe last year's math exam or maybe the 2020 print it time yourself sit down and just do the entire paper sit down and do the entire paper the paper too print it that actually just go and print it before the exam and sit down and do it like time yourself and sit down and do it and see if you can complete it in that time that would be like a good way to prepare so when you're going in the, when you're going to the exam you won't be so shocked like i was <laughs> You won't be so shocked like I was because I did not do that. I did not sit down and do so many questions at any one point in time. So it was a lot for me. It was overwhelming to do so much like maths, so much maths at one time. It was just a lot. So that's one way that you can prepare. And for the paper one, my paper one exam, it was not as bad as the paper two to be honest. Because I watched I watched YouTube videos um with the multiple choice. I had gotten past papers and stuff for the paper one. So the paper one did not stress me out as much as the paper two. And so when I left um, and went home on exam day, my only hope was I pray that my paper one grade and my SBA grade can get me a pass. That was how I was feeling. Because the thing about it is when I got home, the maths, like from the maths exam that day, the paper two in the morning, paper one in the evening. I saw a teacher on YouTube working some of the questions and I watched like maybe the first five questions like that I think it was the first five questions I don't know how that math teacher get the paper so fast but it was the exact paper that I just sat when I came home he was working it and when he was working it um his answers look so different from my answers so at that moment as like at that moment I was just I was done I just gave up I was just like whatever I give up I don't even bother watching the rest of the video like his first his answers I think the first answer was similar was the same answer as mine but the other answers that the first five questions like maybe two to five his answers were different and I was just like wow wow these answers look so foreign to me like I don't even know the answer come from how this teacher have the answer these are not the answers that I got so I was just like you know what anything or anything at this point but this time now we're myself one maths no more <sighs> so yeah just ensure that you have a good SBA yes so if you want to pass you say maths good SBA great in fact not even good SBA you need a great SBA you need a great SBA especially if you know that you're not very well versed on the maths make sure you have a great SBA going into that exam and do multiple choice do multiple choice papers the paper ones to help you prepare for a math because you never know if that SBA and that paper one grade is going to get you a grade three it might just make you pass if especially if you're going to exam and do foolishness on the paper two and nothing makes any sense but imagine the paper one grade and the SBA can actually save you and maybe get you a grade three so just do your paper ones do the multiple choices even memorize memorize the responses but it don't mean that you won't do some studying for math same way you won't work some questions for math to just work as many questions as you can practice as much as you can practice doing lots of questions at any one time so that when you're going to the exam you won't feel so flustered flustered with so many maths in a limited period of time like i was stressed out so don't be like me like do make sure you have a great sba um ensure that you do your paper once or maths and ensure that you practice your questions like print a paper two from maybe 2021 or 2020 and sit down time yourself and do it within that time and see if you can get it done don't underestimate the paper two that paper two is all right that paper two is the reason why so many people that is the reason why so many students fail maths that paper two right there that paper two is the monster it is the one that that paper two is responsible for the number of failures each year and as someone who has sat that exam seen that paper two done it and oh, maths is a very hard subject to pass but ensure that you practice okay 
this is practice past reverse for paper one practice past reverse for paper two make sure they have a great sba excellent sba going into that exam and yeah that's basically how you can pass maths so you can pass you say math so if you like this video or if this video was at all like helpful don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and that's the end of today's video so if you have any questions you can comment down below and let me know and i'll answer them okay that's the end of this video